The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle by Leslie Connor. Chapter 56, New Dialogue, pages 248 to 252. We sit down to dinner and nobody's talking much, but it's a better kind of quiet than we sometimes have, like a golden kind of quiet because we know that Calvin is okay. But then Shailene hears the gravel popping out front of our crumble down. She makes a dash for the window wants to see if it is the UPS truck, but I am thinking that he doesn't come this late. Shailene groans, nose against the glass. She says, ugh, it's him again. Why doesn't he just pitch a tent in the yard? He's here morning, noon, and night anyway. I say, who? Shailene says, Lieutenant Baird. Well, there goes anything that was good about supper. Got food turning cruddy in my gut before I get to eat much of it. Grandma says, well, Shailene, he had a good reason to be here last night and this morning. There was a missing boy. She is right, but I wonder what the lieutenant wants tonight. If it's not about Calvin and the root cellar, it will be about Benny, and I'm thinking how I don't have anything new in that notebook for him. Before he gets to the door, I say, let's make sure he sees the root cellar is gone, make him happy. Uncle Drum nods about that, but then he lets the lieutenant in doesn't mention it. The lieutenant says he is sorry to arrive during our supper. Then he says he has been thinking of me all day. I believe him. He even looks like he is thinking now. Uncle Grandma and Uncle Drum and Shailene all stay at the table while, while he talks. He doesn't ask for the notebook. He says, Mason, so much has happened in the last 24 hours, and after spending that time with you, I got an idea. I thought, Maybe we could start a new dialogue. I think this. I am ready to talk about something new. Maybe there could be no interrupting. I say, fine with me. He says, did you ever go to that tree house alone? This does not sound like new dialogue. Sorry. This does not sound like new dialogue. I scratch my head wipe sweat. I say, yes, did that plenty, because, you know, it's in the Buttle Orchard, so closer to my house, and there was other stuff going on, like Benny had a tutor one day a week. I can't remember which day, not anymore. And then there were some days he had, I don't know what, other stuff to do. I finish. I think it is pretty good how long the lieutenant let me talk. He nodded, is all. He says, and you know how Benny fell down from the ladder, right? I say, well, you told me, weak rung. He says, I'm going to tell you something more, more of this puzzle, something that I know, and it might surprise you that I know it. I am already having trouble, not sure what he means. Why, I, why would I be surprised? He says, you tell me if this sounds familiar. Tell me if it sounds like something you remember. So now I listen, not just with my ears. I listen with everything I am with all the blood that runs inside of me. He says, Benny fell because somebody tampered with the top rung. I say, tampered? I don't know. I tried to build that ladder right. He says, no, no, it's not how you built the ladder, Mason. It was sound, a good ladder, until someone cut part through, partway through the back of that rung. I say, wait, cut? You think somebody sawed it? He points a finger at me, like to say that I am right about that. He says, and I don't just think it, I know it. We can see that it was cut, Mason, and that's what we need to know more about. Somebody could do something like that, thinking it was just a joke, a prank, something silly. I say, wait, Lieutenant, now my mouth can hardly make the words. I say, you think somebody cut that on purpose so it would break with someone standing on it? He nods a slow nod. He says, the cut looks like it was made with a handsaw. I say, handsaw? Like mine? The one that has been missing? The lieutenant stares a stare that says, yes. The silent puts a pain in my ear. Comes on so suddenly. My breath is going all wrong. Dirt green is floating in. I say, I remember you asked me where my saw was. 
And if I threw it away somewhere in the orchard, he still stares. Yes. And then I think this, threw it to hide it so you wouldn't find it? The lieutenant says, Mason, I know how it is. Once something goes terribly wrong, fear can make a person do things that, you think it was me who did that? I gulp, oh my God. There's so much green I cannot see the lieutenant. I say, you think I saw that rung? You think I did the thing that killed Benny Kilmartin?